So we're gonna make a flight plan that is going to circle around that tree. So we'll go over here and we'll start at my house. And we'll start right there. And we'll make a waypoint. And we, we well, we'll let it go seven meters per second, but uh, we're gonna uh, start the, the first waypoint at, um, let's go with 10 meters which is about 30 feet, roughly. Okay, that's our first waypoint. And, uh, we'll, yeah, we'll leave that like that, okay. So that's our first waypoint, and it's at 10 meters. And we're gonna move it right about there at the end of my driveway, all right? Now we're going to uh, make our departing waypoint right here and that's going to be a waypoint and we're going to set that at uh, what 30 meters yeah 30 meters would be about 98 feet so we're going to go 30 meters okay and we want it to travel at uh, seven meters per second. Okay, so we got a waypoint to start from. Now we're gonna get out here into the field. waypoint right about here and that's going to be a waypoint and our altitude and our speed are the same that we want so now we have this waypoint Now, uh, we want to we want to fly backwards. We want to we want to be looking at my house as we travel backwards. Okay, so we're going to make my house a point of interest. So we tap there and we go up here and we call point of interest. And it, the altitude of ten meters is uh, well, that's a little high for. From my house so we'll just come down here no, I don't want that no um, we want the altitude to be about four meters so do that okay so our altitude is going to be about four meters and uh, this, the, the bebop's going to be looking at about uh, 12 feet above our the ground level at our house all right so that's our point of interest now why do I want a point of interest well with depends on which uh, program you're using but with this program you'll notice a little orange arrow and when I put my finger on it if I can find it there come on there I got my little green arrow I'm gonna bring that back up to my house the point of interest at my house and you'll notice that that little arrow turns blue now because it's looking at a blue point of interest. So as my uh, drone backs away from the house, uh, it flies away from the house, it's going to be looking toward my house because my house has now become a point of interest. Okay. <clears throat> then we're going to fly over here to about here and we're going to make a waypoint and it's going to be the same, go about the same speed, and so we'll click OK. So, and this arrow is going to be pointing towards this point of interest. 
We could also have it point towards the house, but uh, we will just have it point to where we're headed here. So here we are at 100 meters, uh, 100 feet above the ground. Oh, I'm sorry, 30 meters, about 50 feet. No, that's about 100 feet. All right, we'll get it right. So we're about 100 feet above the ground at point four. Now, we're gonna make a point of interest right here. Uh, and uh, it's gonna be about four meters above the ground also. All right, now, you notice it says orbit here. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna say, yes, we wanna orbit that. And the number of orbits, well, we can, uh, we can, orbit, we can orbit, let's say we wanna orbit twice. Okay, so we're gonna, oh, we just slide that back to about two orbits, okay? Now, <clears throat> the, the initial orbit, remember we're about 100 feet. So we're going to, uh, oh no, I'm, I'm sorry, we're looking, the next thing down, we're looking at radius, all right? And we want our radius to be about, about 40 meters, well, we'll say 50 meters uh, to begin with. And then we're going to zero in till we get to about 15 meters from it. So over here is where we set our, our meters, uh, 50 meters out from it. And then we'll do that. And let's just have this be, let's change this to um, about 20 meters. So we just come in a little closer. Okay. So we're going to start at 50 meters away, and as we rate, as we're coming around, uh, we're going to keep coming a little closer till we get to 20 meters. Now the altitude, our initial altitude was, um, I think, 30 meters, and so we're going to start it with that. Okay. So we're gonna start at 30 meters, and then we're gonna finish at, uh, well, 10 meters would be about 30 feet, but I wanna go a little higher than that, so let's just go to about 20 meters, okay? Or what does it say, 16 meters? Okay, well, what we'll do is we'll get ourselves back up to altitude when we're through. Um, and so, and you notice progressive orientation uh, already set itself up there. So here's what it's gonna look like. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty mixed up here. Uh, uh, point of interest number four, we're gonna go out and uh, we're gonna start going around. See, there's uh, uh, four and then uh, we're gonna find five and then six, seven, eight, around and around, and it's gonna it's gonna spiral in until it gets uh, to point number 16, which is about the middle there. Okay, and then it would stop there if we didn't do something to get it to come back home.
So what we're going to do is we're going to put a point over here, number 17, make it a waypoint, and we're going to go, um, we want to go up to an altitude, well we can, we can go up to an altitude of 30 meters, so that would be okay, and uh, we're just going to go like this, and so now it's going to come from 16 meters up to 30 meters, coming out of uh, the spiral that we just made. So now we got, we got it back out of there and we're at 30 meters and so we're headed home now, all right? And the only thing is, is what we want to do is we'll go over here and we'll make a uh, waypoint right there, 30 meters, and we'll click on OK. But what we want to do is just for fun, we're going to look back at where we were. And so we're going to hold our finger on that arrow, bring it over here, and have it go to point of interest number four. So it'll be looking back at where we were. Now we're gonna we're gonna uh, come back home. So we're gonna put another waypoint. We'll just put it there for now. And uh, oh come on, come on! We want a waypoint here. Waypoint. And we want that to be about there. But we're gonna move it down to. Well, let's see, let's enlarge the map a little bit here. Say okay. And we'll get a little closer to home here. So we'll hold this down. We'll move it over here and put it right about there. Okay. And it's going to come in at 7 meters per second and it's going to be at 30 meters, which is about 100 feet. Okay, now we want to start, we want it to come in for, uh, to come home, and it's going to, oh, I think I got the wrong waypoint here. We're going to go here, there, now we pick a waypoint, and we want it to go slower than what was going, so we're going to bring it down to just a few meters per second, and, Oh, the altitude is 10 meters. Well, let's see. I don't know how that came about. So we're going to go from 30 meters to 10 meters, which is okay. Maybe it knows my. Maybe it knows things about me that I don't know. <laughs> All right, and then we'll put a point of interest where I'll be flying from, right there. We'll call that point of interest, and we'll make it um, a little lower. Make it about two meters above the ground, and click OK. Okay, so we've got our flight plan all made, and so what we need to do is save this as Demo 2. D-E-M-O 